Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Let go of all your other thoughts, things you've been holding on to all day, all night. Just let them go for the time being. You don't have to hold them up. Hold on to them. They'll be there. They'll take care of themselves. But you need to take care of yourself. You need to look after your, the quality of your mind. And you do that first by looking after the quality of your breath. If the breath is good, then the body is a good place to stay. When the body is a good place to stay, the mind can settle down and gain some rest, gain a sense of well-being, just being right here in the present moment, being the breath coming in with the breath going out. As for that ability to let go, that comes through training. This Rains Retreat we're talking about, the perfections, these are qualities of mind that the Buddha developed and for all of us to develop in our lives if we want to gain something of really solid value in our lives, if we want to accomplish something of real, real worth. Because the things we do in the world outside, a lot of things, they just disappear. But the qualities that we develop in the mind as we're doing various things, those stick with us for a long time. So you have to ask yourself, are you acting out of greed or aversion and delusion, or are you acting out of something good? Which qualities are you strengthening as you go through the day? The Buddha had a list of ten qualities, and they start with generosity. That's the topic for this week. Generosity means giving. It starts out by giving things, but it doesn't mean just giving things. It means giving your time, giving your energy, giving your knowledge and help in any way you can. Giving forgiveness, which should be one of the easiest because it doesn't require that you let go of anything except some really uncomfortable mind states, but often it's hard to let go. But giving on, a, on a, the physical level is also important because it teaches us an important lesson: is the sense of well-being that comes when you're willing to give something up, and when you do it voluntarily. The type of giving the Buddha is talking about is not the type where you, you're expected to give, and so you have to give something out of a sense of obligation. It's more you see that you've got something that you could use, but other people could use it too, and you'd be happy to let them have the use of it. When you make that choice. That's a moment of freedom in the mind. You're not giving in to your greed. You're not giving in to your worries about, well, if I give this away, what am I going to have in the future? You, say, you trust that, okay, I give this away and good things will come of it. And that's an important lesson right there, because giving on the external level means that you ultimately find it a lot easier to give on the internal level as well. As for who you should give things to, and the Buddha, when he was asked that, who should, who should you give things to, the Buddha said, wherever your mind feels inspired. The monks are told, and when anyone asks them, what should I give this to? He said, wherever your mind feels inspired, or you feel it would be put to good use. In other words, the, the gift is totally free. But if you want the gift to have good impact, then you have to be careful about your own attitude towards the gift and look at who you're giving it to. What are they going to do with that? Are they going to help the, the human race or are they going to harm the human race? And as far as your attitude, you want to make sure that you're happy about it before you give it, while you're giving it, and after you're giving it. And it's a mutual responsibility. The recipient has to behave in such a way that the donor is happy afterwards, feels that it was something that was good. In other words, it wasn't wasted. So this is a transaction in which both sides have some responsibilities. You want to look for someone who's going to make good use of your make good use of your gift. Particularly, you want to look for people who are, if they if they don't if they're not totally free of greed, aversion, and delusion, at least they're working in that direction. Because those are the people who set a good example for the world. Those are the kind of people you want to support. And as for the people receiving it, they have to make sure that you maintain this sense of happiness around the gift. Because this ability to give up, as we no noted in the very beginning of the meditation, if you can't give up your thoughts and your worries, you're going to be carrying them around forever and they're going to weigh you down. So you learn by learning how to give up things outside, and you find it a lot easier then to give up some of the things you're holding on into, holding onto inside, especially that issue of the question of forgiveness. Someone else has done something wrong to you and you decide you're not going to go after them. You're not going to try to get revenge. That's an important gift right there, because otherwise you're just carrying around more and more resentment. You're getting weighed down. And so you give the gift of what they, they say, no danger. You're not going to cause any danger to that person. You don't have to love the person, but at the very least you don't want to cause them any danger. And you find that in that way you're not causing any danger to yourself. You've lifted a big burden off the mind. We're not here to settle old scores. 
You want to live with an attitude of giving, an attitude of generosity, because the, the generous mind is a wide open mind. It's a comfortable mind to be in. One of the reasons we meditate is to give ourselves the strength so that we can see that these things that we hold on to outside, we don't really need all that much. Because we've got a source of happiness here inside. That makes it a lot easier to give, to share with other people around us. So remember that giving is the beginning of all spiritual life. Because that's the point where you really know that you're, you're free in your choices. You don't have to give in to your greed, aversion, and delusion. You're not their slave. You can be free above and beyond them.